This is the GeoSketch Tools video for the Pitched Roof Tool. It will be presented in two parts because there's quite a bit to this tool. Uh, the first thing we'll use is the GeoSketch Roof Settings panel. And it has the settings for the roof style. And we have three choices of pitched roofs, gable, hip, and mansard. I'll choose hip. We have an approximation of the roof, roof slope in degrees. We'll be able to modify that slope later, but it's good to start out with a good approximation. Uh, we have settings for the overhang value, which is the overhang of the eave beyond the walls of the building, and a default height of 10 feet. We have two settings here, one for the construction profile and one for the construction plane. The construction profile can be either foot, which means we're going to define a rectangle, which is the wall, out the perimeter of the walls of the building, and the overhang will be added to that. Or we can do the profile of the eave of the building, and then the profile of the walls will be the overhang value subtracted from that. Or we can do the ridge line, which means that we're going to define the center line of the roof profile, and the width will be extended in both directions from that center line. For the construction plane, we're defining whether our working plane is at the elevation of the foot of the building or the floor, or it can be at the eave of the building, or it can be at the ridge line of the roof. So between those two fields, we have three different settings for each, which means we have nine combinations. And in our convenience toolbar here, we have some settings to automatically choose the four most frequently used of those. And we also have icons for quickly changing the roof style between gable, hip, and mansard. So we also have settings for the texture. We can use either geotypical texture or geospecific texture, which means it'll be textured from the, from the aux views. In this case, I'll use the geotypical, and I have a shingle roof uh, texture selected. And we have separate textures for the roof and for the walls, and for the walls, that also has the choice of being either geotypical or geospecific. And so, for example, if you're working from a Nader image, you may choose to use geospecific for the roof, which means it'll get the texture from the Nader image and geotypical for the walls. So each of these settings, at least for the geometry, is defined in the prompt for the roof tool. So it currently tells us that we have the hip style, the ridge profile, and the ridge plane. If I select this icon, the red line is at the foot of the building, and it changes it to be the foot profile and the foot plane. And we can just select three points to create a roof and we have the geotypical textures, so it used the textures that we had set. We can change the textures by selecting an existing material in our model. So for example, I can select this texture and right click and go to the texturing and say, set this as the GeoSketch roof texture. And I can go to this brick texture and go to the GeoSketch uh, texturing and say, set this as the wall texture. Now I'll change to a hip roof and construct a building of that hip style, foot profile and foot plane, and select my three points, and I've got that texturing. I also have the, back, the ability to go back and retexture a building, so if I select this and go to the, t to the roof selection and say apply geotypical textures, it changes it to those current settings. And I can create a mansard roof style also, and go back to the roof tool. And once I've created the building, I can select pieces of it to modify them. So I can use the Move tool to select the ridge line and just move it straight up. Grab that and just move it, hold down the up arrow to change the pitch of the roof. Once I've done that, I may want to measure that pitch. So I can use this uh, Measure Slope tool and click on it and say Measure the Slope. And it tells me what it is in degrees. And if I accept that, then it'll set that roof slope to that. So if I build another building, it'll match that roof slope. And I currently have mansard. I'll change back. You can change it in the middle of uh, defining it. And there, now you see the roof slope is matches what I set by measuring the slope of this. Now we can grab the ends of the building. So if I uh, go to the roof selection tool and I select the start end of that. I started it at this end and then dragged the line to this end. So if I select the start end of that, then I can use the move tool to extend the, that end. Move it, move it longer or shorter. 
and you can do the finishing as well. To do the, the right and the left side doesn't make much sense for a hip or a gable roof, but you can use it on a mansard roof. So I select this and say, select the right side of this. Then when I use the move tool, I can grab that and change this, the, the dimensions of that. And while we're laying out the building, we can key in exact values. So if I change to the, um, at the hip style, foot profile and foot plane, if I do the first two values, that establishes the direction of it. And I can key in right now that is a length of 50 feet, 6 and 7 16 inches. I'll just change it to an even 60 feet. And then for the width, I'll key in a value of 30 feet. And I still have that same pitch that I measured. So in the next example, we'll use some ox view, we'll use a nader view and we'll build a roof from a nader view.